Hello, Scouts. We are here in Columbus, Ohio. I'd like to introduce Miguel, Maggie, Vanessa, and I'm Patrick. They're going to help us with our adventure today. First, we're going to make a lion bag to organize and store our gear. Why would I need a bag for scouting? Can't I just throw my stuff in my backpack? You can, but the lion bag makes everything neat and keeps us from losing things. To make a lion bag, you'll need a hanger, scissors, hot glue or fa fabric glue, felt or other fabric, and an adult to help you. First, you'll cut up the material so that it's long enough to hang on the hanger and can fold over to make a couple pockets. Next, we'll use our fabric glue or hot glue to make two pockets on the front by putting hot glue down the middle of the material. For the last step, you'll use your glue to make side seams on the outsides of your pockets. Then you can add decorations if you want, like patches of glitter and don't forget your name. Once the glue has dried, add all of your scouting stuff to the pockets and hang your shirt on the hanger. A personal care check checklist is a list of things you can do for yourself without being told. Here are some examples of the things you'd put on a personal care checklist. Brushing your teeth, putting toys away, reading, taking a bath. Write down your own list and try a few of the activities on your list each day. As scouts, we're tr always trying to do what's best for ourselves and for others. Make sure you're taking good care of yourself because there's only one. Sometimes we wear shoes that don't need to be tied, like sandals. But other times we wear shoes with laces, like sneakers and boots. It's important that you tie your shoes so you don't trip and fall. It's a tough thing to learn, but practice will make it super easy. We're going to show you how to tie a shoelace. You can practice along with us. We are, there are a lot of different ways people tie their shoes. So today we're going to show you just show you one way. First you make an overhand knot, then fold each end of the lace into a single bunny ear. You can hold the ears in place between your thumb and pointer finger on each hand. Cross the bunny ears so that they form an X in the air. Lift the bottom bunny ear over and through the top bunny ear. This will create a second knot. Pull the bunny ears out this side away from the shoe. This will create a square knot that will hold the shoe in place. This is the end of our adventure. Thank you for spending some time with us today. I hope you had fun. Remember to always do your best. Goodbye, everybody.